Okay, everybody. Uh, my name is James Salter. I'm the department chair for fine arts and I'm starting this off today. So let's go ahead and go to the next slide. We're trying to be funny on this first one. I'm um, not ohm. So as you probably already understand, OM um stands for arts, humanities, and media. Ohm is the sound you make when you are meditating. Next slide, please. So we're talking about the fine arts first. That's uh, our department. We're made of three programs, uh, drama, music, and visual arts. So the fine arts portion of OM stands for us, or the arts, the A stands for us, which is we have an associate of arts in drama, an associate of arts in music, and an associate of arts in visual and commercial arts. Here's a picture of our building, just in case you get lost on campus. Um, and that building number is not correct anymore. It says 112 in the photograph, but actually we're 218 because we've changed the numbers recently. So I've got a little short video prepared for you about the fine arts department, and it's an interview with a couple of our students. They're so much smarter than I am. So when you see me, just kind of look away for a minute and pay attention to what they have to say. Well, Bruce, I hope this video works. I do too. If it doesn't, we'll adapt. So when you click on that, if you need to click this share at the bottom to, uh, and then uh, up, and then it'll give you uh, the optimized for motion and video. That'll help you with your sound if you need sound issues. Can we all see it? No, the video is not playing. So. Well, while they're trying to make that work, if you go to the fine arts page on the website, there should be a direct link that will take you to it. It's a Charlotte, YouTube Charlotte, can video. you mute it? The video, please? Because I can hear it. You just have to share the browser. But I need you to stop. And I'll and I'll pull it up here on my end. Okay. Uh, I'm going to explore programs and that's we want to get to the actual fine arts. Okay. Is the uh, video under drama, music, visual arts, or Charlotte? Please stop the video. I think if there's multiple links to it, it's the same video, Bruce. So okay, because I, I, I don't see a, a a video link. I see programs of study and uh, everything I'm clicking on doesn't have the video. So let mm -hmm. me. Uh, oh wait a minute. Let me see. Oh, no, that's the music day break. Uh, let me go back to explore programs, uh, drama. Put it under fine arts. Okay, I got it. I got it. <laughs> so I'm going to share the screen here on my end and see if we can uh, do that. And I've got uh, motion for video, share, Firefox, share, share. All right, are we there? <laughs> yep. Yes. All right. <laughs> So for my favorite class would have to be painting that I had last semester, actually. I had never worked with oils before, so I'd have to say that was definitely eye-opening for me and it really allowed me to see what I can do. In fine arts, we offer degrees in art, commercial art, music, and drama. The students really enjoy taking the design communications classes, which focus on uh, Illustrator or Photoshop or other digital art uh, platforms. And then um, I would say the drawing classes are also, we have a drawing one and two, and then life drawing. Um, and then uh, we offer a lot of other classes too, like arts metals and ceramics. We have music appreciation, music literature. We have uh, band classes where we teach jazz and we have vocal classes. We have um, independent study courses where students get to work one-on-one uh, -on -one with instructors. We offer classes in introduction to theater and voice for theater and acting. Um, we have independent study courses for those uh, more advanced students that are trying to do internships or maybe uh, performance credit. Um, 
We offer from time to time a stagecraft class and a costume class. Students at CTC who graduate with an associate degree in fine arts can go on to a four-year college if they'd like to get a bachelor's degree. Um, or uh, some of them may go ahead and start working in their field. Usually what we have are students who transfer into a four-year college after that, and then they'll go on to get their bachelor degree, and then possibly go on to a master's degree too. Come visit with us in the Fine Arts Department. I think you'll find something interesting for yourself. All right, let me stop sharing. There we go. That was called a tagline. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bruce. So um, while we're getting back to the next page, I think it's the one that indicates jobs. You're there. Yeah, Charlotte, waiting on you to share that screen again. There you go. So, um, the associate degrees are primarily geared to prepare the student for transfer and completion of their chosen bachelor's degree. As a matter of fact, those students who know they want to get an arts degree, um, whether it's in drama or music or visual arts or commercial arts, um, and they know they want to stay in the area and possibly go to TAMU CT, which is Texas A&M Central Texas, We've actually created agreements with TAMU CT where they can take all of the credit hours that they've earned in our degree plans, all of them, drama, music, visual arts, commercial arts. They can move it over there and then they can graduate and go um, try and do what they want to do, whatever, whatever specifically that is, but they can also get a, a teaching certificate and teach so that they can get a job right out of college. And that gives them the flexibility of summers and winters to really explore what they want to specifically do in their careers. So there's a lot of flexibility in the fine arts department. I hope we've covered some stuff for you. And if not, you're welcome to call us at the fine arts office. The telephone is right there. It's 254-526-1572. And um, you can talk to me, you can talk to Babette, our office assistant, you can talk to Rosa Jewell, who's in the video today. She's very quiet, but that's okay. Um, and you'll notice that the three program coordinators, which is myself for drama, email is right there, as well as Miss Celinda Hallbauer for music and Miss Regina Allen for visual and commercial arts. So if we could just hang here for five seconds so that if they want to jot that down, they can, I'd appreciate it. Other than that, I bid you adieu and on to the next person. All right, so the next portion, <laughs> the next portion of this, um, with our, our cluster here is the social science program where we offer an associates of arts in social science. And our building is located, uh, so this hasn't been updated. Our building is now building 208. So we need to make sure we update that. So within the social science degree, there are eight different disciplines of study that somebody can pursue. And, and that's fantastic because you don't have to whittle it down at this stage, right? Um, and the same as Mr. Salter's programs were primarily designed for students who want to pursue a four year degree. Um, and we simply offer students the option of accomplishing the first two years of study at a very inexpensive um, you know, at a very inexpensive price and then transfer that fully into a 4 year degree where they just have to then um, follow up on the last 2 years. Um, so, 
um, I think on the next slide, we have some like potential jobs and whatnot. Yeah, so there's the great thing about a social science degree. I mean, it's, you know, generically understood as liberal arts and humanities um, fields and there's just about anything you want to do. You can do from this career path. And so we've just chosen a few things to highlight on, but, you know, lots of career paths within the economics profession. Um, obviously, if you want to continue on to graduate studies, uh, the law profession is a great destination for social science um, students. Um, next slide. Um, we get a lot of students who would like to be teachers, and um, this is the great starting point for them. And then, of course, transfer, and like Mr. Sultra mentioned, Texas A&M Central Texas is a, a, a a great destination for students um, and we have those paths that let them seamlessly transfer their um, their classes from CTC over to TAMU CT. Um, school psychologists, we have a great psychology program at CTC and um, uh, TAMU CT also has um, a, not only a psychology program, but also one specifically for people to work in schools as school psychologists and counselors. All right, next slide. Um, and then specifically with regard to psychology, we have an honor society at CTC, um, Psi Beta Psychology Honor Society. Um, and this transitions also to the four year um, degree as well. There's a four year honor society that this then uh, kind of marries up to. Um, and so they're very active at our school. We have induction ceremonies twice a year. Um, and then in the fall, the Honor Society gets together and chooses a topic of study for the remainder of the year, and they host a symposium in the spring where they present the results of their research, and then they also host a speaker on the particular topic of study. So it gives, gives students a great opportunity to engage in that kind of that academic and that scholarly um, aspect of doing research, presenting research at this, this you know, this next level. Um, and then it's a great thing to have on a transcript. If you are interested in psychology, moving on to that four year institution, this makes students much more competitive um, at their, their four year destination. All right, next slide. Um, so for more information on the social science program. We have our main office phone number. I'm the department chair, Tracy Cook. I am a contact, but we also have a program coordinator, Mr. Philip Crosby, who can answer any specific information um, about the program as well. Okay, and I guess we're ready for my portion of this. This is the modern languages or another part aspect of the humanities of this particular pathway. So what I'm going to be focusing on are the modern languages, the associative arts in modern languages. Next slide. Okay, so modern languages, all of the foreign languages. Yeah, can you go back one? There we go. Um, all of the foreign languages are underneath the communications umbrella. So in the communications umbrella, we have English, which is a basic course requirement or core requirement for most uh, universities. And then we have the modern languages. Now with the modern languages, that can encompass any of the foreign languages. So it could be Spanish, German, Italian, French, Russian. Uh, we even have Korean online. So there's lots of different languages that we can um, offer to the CTC students, if not here on campus, then we have them accessible online. So there, we do have an Associate of Arts available in modern languages. Next slide. Now the communication department is located in the academic building, which has been renumbered just like the social sciences. We're in the same, same wing, is building 208. Next slide. Okay, uh, I'm not sure about this video, but there are some top foreign languages to consider for your career here in Texas. Obviously, it's very helpful if you can speak Spanish. Um, if you are tr um, transitioning to a different country, maybe Mandarin, Arabic, German, or French might come in very handy. And uh, I don't know if anyone has access to that video. I don't do you, Bruce. I'm, I'm trying to find it. Is it under modern languages? 
Tracy, uh, some of the modern languages? I would assume it is, but I don't know. This is not my slide. Okay, there's no video there. Let me go to the instructional. Okay, department. then let's just go ahead and go on to the next slide. Okay, now some jobs that are possibilities for you if you have a degree in modern languages. You could be a healthcare professional, a translator, hospitality manager, a teacher, a journalist, a flight attendant, a technical consultant, a marketing manager, and a social worker. Now, in addition to that, there are the personal aspects of that. If you can speak another language, then it makes it much more much easier when you travel, okay, to feel comfortable in these new environments and in these new cultures. But modern languages are things that can definitely be beneficial in a variety of different jobs, especially if that job goes on an international basis. Next slide. For more information about the Modern Languages Associate of Arts, you can contact the Communications Office. That is our updated number there, 616-3353. Or you can contact me, Tammy Phillips, that's my name, and there is my email address right there, tphillips at ctcd.edu. Okay, next slide. Okay, so unfortunately, the uh, individuals that they usually um, the faculty that uh, they, but we can definitely. Um, I can help if you want to go through start, the slides. Uh, we can go over some of these things and make sure that you guys uh, understand it. And you're welcome to ask any questions, and we will try to answer them to the best of our ability. Now, part of this cohort includes media technology. Um, and it, which is also a version of communication, in, but specifically, this is more of a digital type. Um, and so the Central Texas College uh, in, actually is in the process. We had to kind of do a little stop out for a, a little bit for a few semesters um, in terms of offering the degrees in television production, radio broadcasting, digital production, voice training or media writing, but we, I know that we are working on getting those back on track. So even though we're not necessarily offering classes right now, we are looking to actually um, offer those again. And part of what um, the, some of these students end up have ended up doing is actually um, creating video content for other locations. A lot of our video content was actually created by some uh, or recorded at least by either alumni or um, students that were actually in the program. So you might actually see some of these faces. Um, it's prepared uh, geared for transferring to a bachelor's degree. We really like um, it was mentioned before all of these programs. We really try to make all the degree plans, especially the ones that are associates that are uh, we always have usually at least one associate that will be transferable to a uh, bachelor's degree. And these are some of the schools where you might be able to transfer and get a degree that is in the field of communications and media technology. Uh, some of the jobs that you might be able to complete um, or uh, actually be able to participate in include digital content producer, marketing, public relations, televisions, radio, film music, and social media content. Now, for those of you that are Maybe if there's anybody out there and there's a lot that are trying to be YouTubers or actually be part of the social media and being able to learn how to create better content virtually, even though um, this has been, this has a more traditional approach, it still very much applies. Uh, a lot of the individuals that create content and are very successful at it end up using basically the same skills that you would learn um, through this program and actually in applying it to uh, their channels and whatever social media content they create. For more information for the office, it's 254-526-1343. And then we're going to talk a little bit about graphics and printing. And unfortunately, that person is not available today either. But um, we have an awesome graphics and printing 
program in the in in our area. Um, it is actually self paced, which is slightly different than uh, the other uh, programs that we have highlighted today that don't necessarily follow a traditional semester. Um, some of the things that you learn and programs that you learn how to use include Adobe InDesign, Photoshop, and Illustrator. Um, you create, you learn how to manipulate photos and restore them uh, digitally. How to create logos, decals, and T-shirts. Uh, how to print in the wide format, which is completely different. And screen printing and more. And the screen printing is really cool because that's how you can learn how to make T-shirts. We're losing you, Maricelli, again. Your audio. Mm -hmm. Are we caught up on the slides? Yeah, you're good on the slides. I just we just lost our audio. Yeah, we just right lost here. her. Marcel, if you want, in the absence of uh, there you go. Yeah, there you go. in the absence of Bobby Waddle, um, you want me to show the video for the graphics and printing, or if yes, um, yes, yes, if you have it in a minute. So yeah. yeah, so screen printing and more. You can actually learn how to create your own T-shirts and how to print them, um, and so. That is something that we have all those different types of printers here in the house. We teach you how to create content for the printers, how to actually print it, and then you get to uh, print it yourself. Again, this is self-paced program, slightly different than the regular programs in terms of the timing. You can start at any time um, during the semester, whenever you're ready. Um, okay, I'll let you, can you go ahead and show the, let me see if I can make it work, and if not, then. Can you see it? We see you want to start an online store. <laughs> okay, yeah. Online store. We just have to. With Sorry. products that are ready to wait for the ad to go. Get for the Wix .com. There you go. My favorite class in this department would have to be topography. Uh, I consider myself a, a movie buff, so to be given the opportunity to uh, make a movie poster that was authentic looking. Uh, was an exciting opportunity for me. This is the Graphics and Printing Technology Department in the Industrial Technology Vocational Skills Center. Uh, we teach graphics and printing, which is the Adobe Suite Photoshop and Design Illustrator, and printing offset web format printing and screen printing. We offer our Certificate Level 1 degree, which is a basic graphic design degree or certificate. And then we also offer a level two certificate for graphic design and printing and an Associates of Applied Science degree. Uh, once you graduate with a certificate level two, you're able to enter um, the entry level jobs for a graphic designer or a print technician. And once you achieve your Associates degree, you're able to do an entry level but also advance in your occupation or to apply for um, more than an entry level job in graphic design or as a print technician. We are an open entry program that is based on competency based um, completion. So you can choose your own class times, pick the days you want to come in, um, you learn on your own pace. We do hands on training and we have a really great environment here. We all get along like a big family and you get to use the equipment once you've learned it. You get to design posters, business cards, t-shirts, and then you get to print them at the end of the class. So we have a whole lot to uh, hands-on experience for the students to work on while they're here. Okay. So let's see. All right. You should be able to see the slide now, can you? Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. Um, so that's a little bit of information about that program. Um, yeah, some of the work that you might be able to uh, find uh, afterwards includes graphic designer, pre-press technician, 
multimedia artist and animator. And uh, it also shows the different levels of degree plans that they have. They're stackable degrees so that you can actually uh, get certificates of completion and then eventually also get your associate's degree. But each step of the way, you can actually be get completing something, which is um, when you finish, for example, a, a certification, a certificate, and then you are kind of using it as a building block for the next level of uh, that you may have. And that is something that we offer pretty much for all of our degree plans, because that is kind of the concept behind you start with CTC, no matter what degree plan it is that you go, you may have a, a version of a certificate, then you get the associates. And then if you want to go to the bachelor's, it's still a way of stacking credentials and making sure that you're kind of ticking boxes and, and getting recognized for the job that you're doing as you go. Um, this, the building number changed as well, but um, it is in the, what we call the Keat Center, the Career and Technology Education Building and Room 11. And we also have uh, advisors for the Keat Center, and that's the first thing that you need to do. You complete your admissions, talk to the Keat Center advisor. They're going to get you started in the program. Um, and then you'll also be able to contact the Kate Center advisors to get any information on any of the, the programs available there. And they'll, you can also contact um, the department themselves and they'll make sure to answer any questions that you may have as to how the program work. And then I believe that's it. So I'm going to stop sharing real quickly and see if there's any questions. I don't see any in the WebEx chat. Yeah, okay. So for, for the different programs, do all of these programs actually offer classes both virtual and in person? And if so, where are the locations? Are they only on Central Campus or somewhere else? I, I can address for the modern languages. Modern languages are offered on campus in person classes. They're also offered with SVL, so some virtual courses and in the online format. So three different formats where you could learn the foreign languages. How about the fine arts? Yeah, we offer OLL face-to-face, -face, SVL, OBL, basically there are different types of deliveries that involve either some virtual component or we have just our face-to-face -face courses as well. And I think um, it, it's kind of, the, the main thing with these programs is that you, Basically, almost anything that you want to do in the future, you almost have to take these classes. Um, not so much the graphics and printing, um, and the like the the video technology ones, but the ones that have to do with uh, social science, um, communications, and fine arts. Almost every single bachelor's degree and associate's degree has at least one of these classes as their component. So even if you're not sure what you want to do when you grow up, as I like to say, even though I'm all constantly taking classes and trying to figure out, you know, what I, my next level in life. Um, these are classes that really can get you set up toward the future. So if you're not sure as to what you want to do um, or, or what direction you're going, this is, these are the classes that you need to be taking. Um, at least until you figure out what you want to do next. And I think uh, at least these three departments, the fine arts, the communications and the social sciences, um, basically almost make up the majority of what a um, general studies or a um, interdisciplinary degree plan encompass. Uh, and so if you have questions and you're not sure, oh, well, why should I even be looking at these classes? It's because these are the basis of most of the degree plans that we have. 
and it's really the root and the core of everything that we do. Um, and a lot of, I don't know that a lot of people realize how important humanities are, especially in the educational environment, how they really are the, the skeleton that keeps everything else together. Um, I would probably say that and maybe like a math class somewhere in there. <laughs> All right. Well, let me add uh, to those students who are watching for the fine arts element. If you are musically inclined, uh, CTC does have a choir and a band. So if you like performing, the uh, classes Mr. Salter were talking about are just one step of uh, the performing arts. So if you're musically inclined, as I said, and like to sing, like play a musical instrument, check out our CTC band and choir. Also, if you are into public speaking, the communications department also encompasses the speech and debate team. I know uh, JD is, is working hard to keep that going. So that's another element. So I know a lot of students out of high school are interested in debate and continuing that. So we can help you out there as well. So just a couple more options for you. All right. Well, thank you very much to our presenters. I really want to say thank you for uh, your patience uh, with everything that we've been doing. Um, and I appreciate your uh, information and being here. Hopefully, if you students or anybody's interested in any of these programs, please reach out to these faculty members. That's what they're here for. They really have a lot of knowledge and they can help guide you through a lot of these processes um, just as much or sometimes even better than some of the administration. So please feel free to reach out meet your faculty, um, especially if you're really interested in any of these content areas and you want ans questions answered, they are the ones that are experts in these fields. Go directly to the experts, get your answers from them. Uh, so thank you to everybody. And any last minute, any last words of wisdom before we leave from our presenters? No. Nope. Okay, read the syllabus. That's all I'm going to say. Um, <laughs> usually, yes. that's the one thing that all the faculty will say as a word of wisdom from the classes. I will, I will just kind of say that when you're in your classes, read your syllabus. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, and have a good day.